Okay, how are we doing out there? First things first, my name is Kenneth Bird. I'm the creator of Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using Ambient Light Rejection Technology Gains. I'm sorry about that. Times 4, 5, and 7. This is done. Painted on the wall. The Supreme 7 Roll-On. Easy application, easy to apply. It looks absolutely incredible. Keep in mind the screen is jet black. And I'm going to show you up close the condition of the wall. The wall I'm using right now is just a paint test wall. It is pretty raggedy, but just to show you exactly how amazing this technology is, it blends in with just about anything. Now I'm going to walk in front of my projector real quick so you can see that the screen actually is jet black. It just has the ability to produce really deep, dark colors. You know, things that you really can't get from a, um, a, a gray or white projection screen. Let me come over and find my video real quick. Bring this back just a little bit. So a few things I want to add really quick before I start this demonstration. Actually, I'm going to show you some more of the demonstration of the screen painted on the wall. Uh, we're going to be changing one thing about the roll-on kits and the spray-on kits when it comes to the blackout cloth. The two quarts have the ability to paint a screen size from 100 inch to 150 inch. We feel that the blackout cloth that's coming with it for free is not big enough. So it's a 6x9 that comes with the two quarts. We're going to change it out to a 7x10. So it's 7 feet by 10 feet for the two quarts. For the one quart, it'll be six feet by nine feet. And for the one gallons, we'll have that giant, massive 200 inch screen. That's 10 by 20 feet. That gives you the option of doing a 100 inch, 140, 150, 170. It just goes on and on and on. If you're gonna do 235.1, you have 20 feet of screen to do 235.1. So these are orders that are going out today, or you can start going out tomorrow because it's late right now. But, like I said, tomorrow we're going to be launching the roll-on version of that screen paint. And this makes it a little more easier for my customers who basically feel that, you know, a paint sprayer may be a little bit intimidating. And it's not, it's not, it's not a big deal. It's not a big deal because keep in mind, when I first started off, I had a Wagner 590. And it was a big, big paint sprayer. It was very intimidating for me, but like I said, I learned down through time using different forms of paint sprayers. That's what we advise people. If you are going to spray the screen, go with the 150 or go with the 250 because they are fantastic paint sprayers. It's a control sprayer where you're not have to worry about basically messing up the screen or having over spray on the screen or basically being too close where it's going to cause the screen to drip or blotch. That's why I like that 150 or 250 paint sprayer. But look how fantastic this looks on the wall. Keep in mind the projector I'm using behind me is a 720p projector XG no 4k no 1080p next I'll be doing a demonstration outside and also a demonstration with 1100 lumens I do like to do the 1100 lumen demonstrations but just to show you how much light we have in the environment and how the screen is taking all this in with no problem whatsoever look how fantastic it looks it comes to the tropical fish now my projector behind me has a I think it's a 600 to 1 contrast ratio it's not very high but screen with the screen being black, that's something you're not going to have to worry about is losing contrast. Now also too at the bottom, I'm going to post several demonstrations I did on this screen first. I actually painted it gray with a little bit of bare silver screen, just showing you that you're not getting true contrast on a gray screen. Also too showing it against a white surface, which I'm seeing the white wall, showing how much you're losing from your projector. Even if you have a projector of a high caliber lumens, you're still not going to be to get that picture quality pop. It's just not going to come from it. And you're not going to be to achieve contrast levels. That is not going to happen. I'm missing too much light in here. I don't think I have enough light in here. Hold on for a minute. I'm going to put this to the side. For those you keep saying, get a GoPro. I have one. I just haven't got around to basically hooking it up yet. I want to add more light into the environment. I think it should be a little bit more brighter than this in here. So let me add another light in here. I'd like that every corner of the environment lit. Alright, so let's turn this around so I can show you where I was actually adding more light. I just didn't like that dark area in the corner. That was driving me crazy. I like to have as much light as possible in the environment just to show you that these screens can thrive in a fully lit environment. And this is fantastic. Think about it. You can paint this directly on your wall, be done with it. Also, to consider the fact that these are ambient light rejection screens. So, you know, you don't have to worry about sitting in the dark just because you own a projector. You don't have to sit in the dark. We don't have to basically sit our screens in dark environments just to make them look good. I'll come back here and show you how far my projector sits from the wall. 
my projector is around 12 feet. So from here to here, we got around 12 feet. Now, those of you that are curious to see what it looks like with the lights out, those who are going to be using this for dedicated theater setups, we'll take these out right here. Take our lights out one by one. And we'll show you some beautiful demonstrations. The lights out. Got a lot of light going on in here, so I gotta move around quite a bit. It's pretty bright down here. Camera strap, no way, sorry about that. And keep in mind, see how dark that is? When it comes to the contrast levels, I'm gonna turn on this one high power light I have here. You see, it doesn't affect the screen at all whatsoever. Screens are designed to eat ambient light. Take the lights out again. See how beautiful the colors are. We'll take the lights out just a bit. Because I like to do both, you know, just to show you that how amazing this technology is. Now mine, even with the seven, the only difference between the roll-on, there is no difference. The difference between the roll-on and the spray-on, well actually a roll-on will not give you front and will not give you rear. You can't do rear on a roll-on. You can only do rear on a spray-on. But both of the both of them had the same amount of high gain. Only difference is this one's actually a roll on application. You don't have to spray it on. So those of you that are not good with the paint sprayer can roll it on, and those you're good with the paint sprayer can spray it on. It's up to you. Now you can coat this on anything you want, plexiglass, whatever you want. Actually tomorrow morning I'm gonna get up and get a sheet of plastic and just coat over a piece of plastic. black screen it produces very high white levels. Now those of you been asking me can I paint this over my pre-existing projection screen? Yes you can. You can paint the projection screen. You can paint it on your white fixed frame. Whatever you want you can paint it on. Look how beautiful the colors are. See right here, see how it's black? You don't lose any contrast. Nothing becomes tan or washed out. Usually when you're dealing with a gray screen, one of the things when you turn those lights on, you'll see a bit of tannish to the screen. Now before my time runs out here, I'm Kenneth Burr from Illuminous 4K Screen Paint using ambient light projection technology, game times four, five, and seven. This is our new Supreme Roll-On Projection Screen, Supreme 7 Roll-On Projection Screen, which will be available tomorrow with free worldwide shipping. It will come with free blackout cloth, everything you need to set up the ultimate home theater setup. And of course, you have amazing, kind of look at the contrast on the screen. All lights are on. Look at that. Now real quick, I'm going to show you the condition of my wall. I got a piece of plastic with staples all across here. Got 
cracks and grooves, notches, these pieces of plaster sticking up. Got a big crack there and one there. I mean, it's a lot of, this wall has a lot of imperfections in it. It just does. This is a test wall. Some people may say, hey, why don't you just sand it down and smooth it out? I have plenty of smooth screens around here to do that demonstration on. The wallpaper sitting right behind me. This is a test wall. The test wall is designed to be beat up to be rough. So we can test and see exactly how smooth the application applies. If it actually pours into all the cracks and, and imperfections in the wall. So this is why it's important the wall to be rough. And as you can see, look at the screen. From one edge to the next, you don't see any tannish around the screen, no washed out image. It is sharp from one edge to the next, even when using deep dark blues. That's the angle gain on the screen with all this light hitting it. So over here, the screen doesn't wash out anywhere. No one will believe you have this painted on your wall. Alright, gotta go. Thank you all, and God bless.